G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Let's Draw Live video taking place on Twitch. And Henry has requested in the Twitch chat that I draw Rocket Raccoon and out of all the requests, this one was the winner. So I'll be drawing Rocket Raccoon today. Rocket Raccoon, for those of you who don't know, is uh, the lovable maniac raccoon who loves big guns from the movie slash comic book series Guardians of the Galaxy. Now in this phase of the drawing we're keeping everything really blocky and loose just with really light sketch lines and then and then we start to refine the detail as the shapes begin to take the form that we're satisfied with. For his weapon, because it's a science fiction based story and he doesn't have a very specific weapon, basically you just want to draw a big cool looking gun. Alright, so I've got my sketch to a place where I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'm ready to use my multi-liners. These are Copic multi-liners. And the reason I'm using these is because A, they're very fine, and B, they don't smudge when you use Copic markers. Just a reminder that the Let's Draw Live videos are sponsored by Copic Australia, so make sure to check out their products. They're awesome alcohol-based markers that blend with each other, and they're absolutely fantastic. After I finish my line work, I erase everything with my kneadable eraser, just so it doesn't smudge anything, and now it's ready to add colour. So as people in the chat have pointed out, quite rightly, it looks like a cat so far, but hopefully, uh, working with different colours to accentuate different areas of their hair that raccoons have, it'll look like a raccoon. So I'm beginning with the lightest colour areas of the fur, and I'm using an E40 brick white for the light tones, and then an E43 dull ivory for the mid-tones. As I get into the darker areas of colour in the fur, I'm using an E57 light walnut, and then for the shadows, I'm starting to work in my C greys from C6 to C10. After I add grey in areas for shading, I go back to my original light walnut just to add extra saturation, just to make sure it all blends in properly. The foundation of the gun will be done in a B41 powder blue to give it that sort of high-tech steel shiny edge, but all the shadows of the gun are done in the neutral grey selection from N3 to N7. I colour the shoulders with a range of neutral greys, then go over the top with a brick beige E31 to add a bit of an earthy tone to it. And then finally to add an extra dimension of interest, I'm using the BV00 Mauve Shadow and the V15 Mallow to create a bit of a purple light source in one direction of the image. This will add interest and make it look a little bit more sci-fi-ish as well. So now I'm at the final stage of my picture and as you can see I've gone over the edges quite a bit because I've done a lot of mixing and it can be quite difficult to keep everything really kind of in line and neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Pentel pocket brush to do a nice thick outline and add a bit of a comic style look. Then I'll add a few extra details with my multi-liners and then a few little spots of white with my white pen. And there we go ladies and gentlemen, I have my finished piece of Rocket Raccoon, which was, as I said, requested by Henry in the Twitch chat, so I will dedicate it to Henry. And I'm done. Thank you for joining me ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to join future Twitch live streams by clicking the link on the screen and in the description to subscribe to my Twitch channel where I stream every Tuesday morning, Australia time. Do the maths yourself to figure out when I'm streaming for you. Otherwise, until next time, I'll see you later.